My name is Kristen Vigilato, and I'm interning for the National League of Cities, which is a 501c6 membership organization that provides education, research, technical support, and advocacy to municipal leaders across America, and I'm part of the City Solutions team. Hi, my name is Antonio Lopez, and I'm interning for Congresswoman Kathleen Rice, who is representative for New York's 4th District. Honestly, my first day exceeded my expectations. Um, although there was no orientation, I didn't feel overwhelmed. My, supervis my supervisors were extremely considerate um, and understood that it took me a couple of days to adjust to my role. And my supervisors also expressed that they want this internship to be educational and fruitful, uh, suggesting that by the end of it that I've publish some kind of blog post on their website. So on my first day, I met my supervisor, Will, and he welcomed me into the office and helped me set up all the accounts that we need in order to access the systems they had in place. He showed me the database that the office uses to keep track of all the constituent requests, and some of the other interns helped me learn how to work the phones at the office, from transferring calls to how to address constituents, etc. Later during my first day, my supervisor, Will, sent me out to go to a briefing on Capitol Hill on the Senate side. <clears throat> It was a briefing on poverty throughout the United States, and he asked me to go to it just so I could attend it, listen to what the speakers have to say, and write up a one-page memo. So I have two supervisors, and each have assigned me a different task. For the affordable housing team is to write a narrative how each participating city is addressing uh, and approaching the affordable housing crisis. Um, such as what tools, policy, and partnerships are they engaged in for the sustainability team in regards to their resilience leadership program. I'm writing concise background texts for each uh, winner's proposal and which the sustainability team will reference to during their phone calls so that they can corroborate the details and, and eventually write a blurb for the NLC website. So definitely one of the, my favorite things that I've learned how to do was uh, how to write up concise memos for all the briefings that I attend because it gives an opportunity to really digest all the things that I just listened to into a concise manner that would be most effective for the certain staff member that requested me to go to that specific memo. One of the most challenging things I'm learning to do right now is actually giving tours around Capitol Hill. That's what I'm expected to do for the constituents I've requested ahead of time. It's challenging because it's a lot of basic, just basically memorization to have on top of my head, or different historical facts around Capitol Hill, all the different rooms, how to get there, and the best way to direct people for so it'll be a constant flow. So I have received a whole bunch of booklets and information packets once I went to the tour training and. I still have to look over it in order so I make sure I can give the most effective tour I can whenever a constituent comes with us. Some of the things that I've learned is the, important, the importance of uh, private-public partnership and local-regional partnerships, the lawmaking process at a state level and how it's implemented, and learning about organ the organizational structure within a nonprofit organization. One of the things about my office and how it's structured is that I have one direct supervisor. His name is Will. He's the intern coordinator. But the whole attitude of the office is definitely much more lax than I expected. It's about, in total, maybe only 10 actual staffers, and including interns, there's probably 15 people max. So it's a small office, and it's uh, everyone's very pretty much comfortable with each other. There's a lot of joking around every once in a while. But when people, people are working, you know, they're working. So there can be a lot of quiet time as well. In LLC, 
there is a good balance between formal and informal um, synergy. There is everyone addresses each other in a first name basis. A lot of uh, collaboration among departments. Uh, it really feels like a, a group effort. So, Kristen, what uh, issue does your organization focus on? Um, so this year's president, um, Karen Freeman Wilson, the mayor of Gary, Indiana, she has decided to prioritize on our organization agenda, the affordable housing crisis. And simultaneously, all the other, each department is um, still focusing on their own uh, individual projects and um, technical assistance for different cities. But there's trying, there there's like uh, interdepartments um, trying to have like overlaps, um, trying to collaborate how to adjust, address the affordable housing crisis from multiple angles. So Antonio, um, so how would you describe the Office of Kathleen Rice? How do they approach these specific issues? So like for my office, for the Congresswoman, there is like a kind of like division of labor. So there's like 10 staffers and each staffer is like a specialist for anywhere between like five to like 10 fields. Like one person could be a specialist for like LGBTQ issues, environmental issues, uh, women's rights, something like that, or, uh, like that. Another person could be like more specific for like um, Israel, foreign policy, uh, energy and stuff like that. So like each staffer, sometimes they meet up with leaders of organizations that focus on those issues so that they can talk and they can learn and then I guess they were put all back to the congresswoman so they can help them build the best possible whatever legislation legislation or like next political foot forward. Um, so another uh, big difference between our organizations is um, there's about like 15 employees in your office, including the yeah. interns. Yeah. Um, in NLC, there is about 120 um, full-time employees, plus contractors and interns and fellows. Um, also, the population that we're working with is different. Um, NLC has more than 2,000 members, um, whereas uh, Kathleen Rice is it's working with... Directly with constituents. Yeah. Like your members are the leaders of cities, right? So yeah. It's like technically even bigger populations than that, if mm -hmm. you think about it. So, Antonio, I'm just curious on your thoughts on the article, Well Prepared in Their Own Eyes. A survey finds that college students think they are being well prepared with the skills and qualities needed for for careers. Employers are dubious. What do you think? Uh, I, I kind of agree to, the ex ex and to an extent in the sense that, like, I feel like college doesn't really necessarily truly prepare you for, like, employment. I feel like a lot of the most important things you can learn when it comes to the job work or whatever job you do is just honestly, it's like when you're actually there. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of, I feel like, fluff in college sometimes. Like, there's, you know, when it comes to, like, major stuff, sometimes, like, there's a class you have to take that's not outside your major that's not necessarily beneficial for you or just, like, the professor isn't particularly effective or, like, the classmates aren't as engaged as they could be, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, like, you get kind of, like, a mixed bag most of the time, I feel like. And most of the most valuable input slash work I've received has been through internships or actually working at jobs. So that's how I feel about the article. I definitely agree um, that a lot of skills, habits, and discipline is like acquired in a professional setting versus work, I mean versus school. Um, in school it's, it's a safe place for experimentation and developing your interests. Um, and so a semester in DC it's a really eye-opening experience, um, like really helping uh, helping me determine if I want to, you know, jump straight into grad school or get more work experience. And right now, um, I think I'm leaning towards getting more work experience. No, definitely the same. I feel like work experience is key. So in conclusion, I'm just really excited and grateful for this opportunity to be working in D.C. Um, it's definitely uh, brought some clarity into my life. Definitely, yeah. And I feel a lot more motivated. And also there's like a lot more like mentor mentorship here, so I just, it's great. Shout out to Wilt. <laughs>